Does your music sound like this? But you want it to sound a little something like this. Well, I can't do that. But what I can do is teach you how to use Ableton, which will let you make electronic music on your computer at home. Let's get into it. Ableton is a program that allows you to use digital instruments to make digital music. As you can probably tell, me pressing this keyboard is not making any noise. But if we go into Ableton, you can see that that changes. We know what Ableton is, and we know we use it to make music, but who am I to be telling you about how to make music? I played saxophone for 10 years, and I've been composing for four. I think I would know a thing or two about this, but if you don't believe me, then keep watching, and hopefully you learn a thing or two. There's three things that we're going to talk about today. How to choose a key for your song to be in, how to come up with a melody, and how to put on the finishing touches that make it sound awesome. So let's get started. What is a key? Well, I just showed you my piano earlier. It's inverted, but you get the idea. The piano has white keys and black keys. These keys make different noises. So if I play these notes, sounds like this. Why did what I just played sound good, whereas something like this sounds really horrible? I'm choosing what notes are in the key and playing around that key. A key is essentially what notes on the piano are you allowed to play and have them sound good. There's a ton of different keys and there's a lot of music theory around them, but I like to keep it simple and I like to do A minor. And what A minor is, is it's just all of the white keys. You can play anything in the white key range and as long as you stay in that range, you'll be good. Now we've got our key selected and now I need to set some backing support for our melody that we're about to add in. I've selected my instrument already. I dragged in an electric piano from over here. All your instruments are over here. You can just sort by them and then click and drag. I've got electric piano one soft. There's lots of them. We're just going to click this record button and it'll start recording and we're just going to lay something down see what we get. So that's pretty good. And then what we can do is we can just loop this. We can just, since it's digital, I only have to record something one time and then we can loop it forever. And what I'm kind of feeling with this already is underwater. And I like to keep an idea of imagery of what I want my song to sound like as I work through it. So as I go into this melody, I'm thinking, okay, this sounds kind of underwater. What can I do to make this be underwater? Now I've copied this over a few times and now it's time to add in our melody. What I like to think about with the melody is the melody is the part of the song that you want to remember. So you want it to pierce through all of the other sounds you've got going on. Even though we have this very slow kind of wispy sound going in the bottom, we're going to want something that is more clear for us to latch on to as we listen to the song. And I think I have the perfect thing for that. We're going on a journey. Ignore how messy it is. I moved. There we go. This is what we need. My saxophone. What I like to do for the melody is I listen to the backing track and I just play whatever comes to mind. And if it sounds good, I'll keep it in. Now we've got our melody in. And if you're struggling with this part, I really want to stress, play whatever you feel like playing. Play random stuff on the piano until it sounds good. It doesn't need to be complex. It just needs to be something that sounds good to you. There's a lot more to do and that you can do to make a song sound good. But in terms of final touches, we're just going to go over how you make things sound balanced in your mix. And then a secret trick that people don't tell you for how to make things sound epic. The first thing we're going to do is, let's say, for example, this saxophone bit that I just recorded was way too loud. Imagine it was like this way too loud way 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 too loud so what you need to do is go over here to the left for audio effects and then there's going to be a lot of them but the only one you need is utility you can just click that and drag it onto your desired track it'll pop up here at the bottom and you can adjust this gain and that just adjusts how loud it is the last thing we're going to do is add some reverb this track here i'm going to make it so that we can only hear the saxophone it doesn't sound that wonderful it sounds a little bit dry, a little bit not spacious. We can go over here to audio effects again, and there's one called reverb. If we drag it on, we have a reverb setting. And now if we play it, it sounds like it's in a huge concert hall, big room. There's lots of things to adjust. In fact, there's many built-in rooms that you can attribute to your track. But I hope this helped a little bit with getting familiar with the very basics of selecting a key, making a melody, and putting that all in Ableton. The best way to learn, really, is to just practice it and get better over time. 
I believe in you guys. Music is accessible to everyone. You got this. Mm-hmm.